It is an animal of prehistoric appearance, strange even by the standards of his family. It's like a cave painting come to life. It is the only hairy rhinoceros in the world, and also the smallest and shyest of all, the Sumatran rhinoceros. It feeds on young branches and leaves in the thick undergrowth, and is especially fond of ginger and certain palms. Weighing 800 kilos, it is the largest herbivore living exclusively in tropical rainforests. Each individual needs at least 10 square kilometers of jungle, too much space to maintain a healthy population in a threatened island ecosystem like this. And so it's a solitary wanderer, its tiny population well on the way to extinction. In Borneo, there only remain some 50 in the wild, and in the whole world, there are no more than 300. This is one of the last large males of the ancient Disro rhinos. In his plot of the jungle, he pours the ground to mark his territory and sprays streams of urine laden with hormonal messages for the females in the hope that one of them will take up his invitation to mate. But increasingly, these messages receive no answer. The females can only breed every five years and they do not reach sexual maturity until they are eight, so the birth rate is extremely low and it's difficult to recover numbers. The Sumatran rhinoceroses visit certain traditional mud pits which can be used for years. With their movements, they increase the size of these pits, which periodically fill with rain. They take long baths in the mineral-rich mud to refresh themselves and prevent skin diseases. And while they get rid of the parasites on their broad backs, they can also complement their vegetarian diet by chewing on clumps of soil rich in elements like sodium and phosphorus. A natural beauty treatment that restores both inside and out. They need to take great care of their skin because they do not have the rigid plates of other species of rhinoceroses. Pesky parasites take advantage of the large soft folds of their bodies and the hairs, and they have to periodically remove them from even the most inaccessible parts of their bodies. Relaxed, mineralized, and with the beauty mask still on, the old rhinoceros can continue eating leaves and the last patches of rainforest on the island of Borneo. Though the hairy rhinoceros and their proboscis monkey are strange creatures, they are not as surprising as the animal that inspired the most famous story of Borneo, the legend of the monkey man. All the accounts by the natives of the coast insisted they existed. Today we know they were right. They are the orangutans. They live only on the islands of Sumatra and Borneo, where the Dayak natives have always called them orangutan, the man of the forest. If the animals had monarchs, then he would be the red king of this jungle. His mode of locomotion is called brachiation, which consists of swinging from tree to tree, using his incredibly powerful arms, which, when outstretched, 
measure two meters in length. They spend almost their entire lives high up in the trees and do not form social groups. Their solitary lives are due to the fact they have to constantly travel in search of the trees whose fruits are mature. This makes them botanical experts capable not only of distinguishing dozens of species, but also of predicting when and where the fruits of each one will mature. For this, they need considerable intelligence, which is developed especially during the more than five years they spend with their mothers following birth. This is the closest mother-child relationship of any animal except for humans. They know every type of leaf and which shoots are poisonous and they have developed the perfect anatomical tools for reaching the food. It could be said they have four hands. From a very young age, their eyes and brains develop stereoscopic frontal vision along with the ability to judge distances with great precision. As well as learning so much from their mothers, the childhood of wild orangutans is probably the happiest of all the creatures of the tropical rainforest, as they have no natural predators, and their solitary lives mean they do not share their mother with anyone. The adult males wander through the jungle always alone. They eat during the day and when night falls they do something no other monkey in Malaysia does. They build nests in which to sleep. This skill of making things with leaves is also developed during childhood. In this way the jungle is full of enormous nests which are very useful for biologists trying to locate the elusive orangutans. It's simply a question of finding a suitable fork in the tree, then interweaving branches and leaves. Each male makes his own nest, while the female makes one for herself and her young. The large adult males develop discs of flesh on their face, which, along with their red beards, gives them an impressive appearance. It's very difficult to find a sexually receptive female in the jungle, as they spend so many years with the young. So, when a rare opportunity to mate presents itself, you have to be the biggest and the most fearsome in order to beat off the competition. This one has a very good chance. Weighing 90 kilos, an adult male demonstrates all his impressive strength as he moves around his forest. The great red spirit represents the essence of the tropical rainforests of Indonesia. Unique, valuable, but very vulnerable. <laughs> 